Hello, I'm going to show you my platform bid for my 2004 RAV4 XLE all-wheel drive. My wife and I want to take more trips and we're going to fashion a bed inside the back of the RAV4. It's a bed platform. We're going to be using a three inch memory foam mattress on top of it. And I wanted to show you the dimensions of it and the procedures I took to build ours. As you can see, I've pulled out the back seats. The back seats are fairly easy to remove. There's a screw here, a screw here, there's one and another one there. So there are four in the front. There is one here. There are two in the middle here, two in the middle here, and one on the other side right there. These all use a 14 millimeter or a 916 socket and it takes, oh, maybe 15 minutes to get the back seats out of the car. You have to, uh, you have a uh, hidden compartment, in case you don't know, in the back of your rev here, where you can pull this tab up. It's behind the seats, and you can store tools and whatnots in there. The problem you've got is this. There, when you remove the seats, these tabs sit on the back of the seats, and you have no support for them now. And so if you push down on it, it's gonna pull the little screws that hold this surface uh, down, it's gonna pull them out of the plastic. So you need to either remove this or you're gonna have to be careful with it, one of the two. All right, this is the main platform of my bed. This is four foot wide piece of three quarter inch plywood. It's cut 42 inches long. The bed, the 48 inch part from side to side will fit in between the fender wells inside the RAV4's back end. The 42 inch is about as tall as you can get inside the side door or through the back door without damaging the vehicle. I've I tried it without bracing it, my wife and I, and it would bow Together we're around 320, 320 pounds, and the three-quarter inch plywood would sag and bow in the middle, and it caused, uh, it, if we put any storage underneath it, it would bow down into the storage. So I added some three, uh, two by four cross members. I had a two by six there, but they're 48 inches long, and they're cross bracing the whole board from side to side. <clears throat> These are the furthest back legs. There's gonna be uh, three pair of legs. I've got them Velcroed down so that they're easier to install. These legs that are in the very back by the hatch are cut to be 11 and a half, or 10 and a half inches long. And they are attached with door hinges and uh, I got the sat nickel, uh, sta uh, the nickel ones, so that they wouldn't rust. And they attach down, they fold down to a piece of Velcro, which will hold them in place while we're trying to slide it into the doorway. I attached eyelets here, and here, and there, and there, so that I could bungee cord it and tie it, uh, hook it down to the anchor points inside the back of the RAV4. The middle legs are two by fours, sorry, and they are cut, if I can get a tape measure to work here, they are cut to be 18 and a half inches long on each side, and they are not flush. They're set in about three inches from the edge. Uh, the reason this is, is it, it helps with the mounting. There's a, a, an issue with it hitting part of the fender well plastic cover if you push the leg of the uh, leg out to the outside of the board. Now the, the back ones, they can be flush. That's not an issue. There's no interference there. Now with these dimensions, it will set level in the back. It's not quite as high off of the table. I wanted it to be uh, off the deck. I wanted it to be 12 inches gap for the tubs and things like that. It's not going to be, it's going to be about uh, 10 and a half inches, I believe.
You can also see that these uh, back uh, middle legs are attached again with the door hinges and they have the Velcro here to hold them in place while I'm installing it. I attached also some hooks here to hook into the other part of this so that it keeps them together whenever it's assembled inside the car. I'm going to fold it up and show you how this part of the platform fits inside of the RAV4. Okay, now I have the platform fitting inside of the RAV4. It's not anchored, it's just sitting inside. Um, you can see the legs folded out and supporting it in the front. This flap is leaning up against it. Coming around to the back, you can see the legs unfolded, sitting down on their positions. What I didn't show you earlier is that I rounded these corners off right here and on the other side to fit a little bit tighter and to fit a little bit further back, a sharp corner, and it, it doesn't get it further back like it should. It's about 54 inches across here, and that's about the size of a twin-size mattress. Now, when it's anchored all in, I've already found out that it, it rubs right here and right here, and that's going to cause damage to your interior. I got some pipe foam insulation to try out to slide in there and uh, to try to keep it from squeaking up against the surface of the plastic, but also to keep from damaging the interior of the car as I am, as we're driving down the road. The back platform stays installed most of the time. The front platform, it has to be um, taken out and put back in in order to put the seats back. With the seats all the way forward and the hatch closed, uh, I'm 5'10 and I'm able to lay down without hitting my head on anything. Now we have these bags on the back of the seats and they can be a nuisance. We could take the bag off to keep my hair from br brushing up against it or whatever else. But the, the travel bags, that's an optional thing. If you took those off, you'd get a couple of more inches there. All right, I'm using, to anchor this platform to the car and using the anchor points, I'm using a 15 inch bungee and a 21 inch bungee. And I'll show you, these are two for the passenger side. I've already installed the ones for the driver's side. And you can see the 15 inch bungee attaches to that uh, lower interior point and then the 21 inch bungee attaches from the front brace to the middle of the wheel well and that attach point. This will keep it from flying around if you ever have a wreck while you're driving the car. Okay what I have here is the front piece. It is 48 inches wide and 30 inches the other direction. And so this 30 inches adds to the 42 from the other panel to give you 72 inches, six foot of wood lumber uh, length inside the bed, uh, the back side of the wrap. I have the two legs on it. The legs are 20 and one quarter inches long. They're attached to the platform by a piece of Velcro. And same thing on the other side. Also have a two by four cross brace on here. This one is mounted about an inch and a half to two inches further away from the edge right here. These legs will fold, when they extend, will come close to the uh, mounting points for the driver's seat and the passenger seat in the front. And so I move them further away from the edge to give it a little bit of clearance there so that the legs will stand straight up and down. Right now we're going to install it and what I don't have on here there will be some eyelets here that will attach here where the hooks from the other platform will hook into it and keep them together. Okay now you can see the fully installed bed platform with all the bungees. I have two 21 inch bungees here and eyelets in front if you choose to anchor it you can anchor it to the front seat seat rails. I have the uh, eyelets on the other side of this board and you can attach it to one of the seat rails here if, if you think you need to. You're not going to be driving the car 
with this bed set up this way anyway because the seats are too, too far forward for you to be able to operate the car. Um, you can see the hooks that are attaching both sides. Now this, this board's got a little bit of a bow to it, but that'll be taken care of by the mattress. It won't be, once you lay down on it, it won't be that big of a deal. Um, these flaps have chosen to come back down. Uh, it puts them kind of in a bind. This, this is kind of a hassle. Like I said, you can take it off. It's got some little sheet metal screws and plastic. Probably take you about 10 minutes if you want to take it off or you can leave it in like I did. Um, you can put, as you can see, there's plenty of storage underneath this platform and uh, for ice chests, suitcases, things like that. You can unhook it from here, from under here. You unhook it, fold the legs up and slide this board back, put the mattress on top and the whole assembly can sit in the back while you drive the car. You can slide the seats back and be able to drive to your next destination. All right, I have my three inch memory foam gel, gel memory foam mattress. It folds up into threes, it's a tri-fold. I bought it from Amazon. It's a twin size. Uh, as you can see, it bunches up in the corners here. All right. Um, it's got handholds that are really neat, convenient to get a hold of. You can see how it fits inside up here. I'm going to close the tailgate and I'll let you see what it looks like from the inside. All right, and you can see how it, it does bunch up in the corners. But you have six foot of sleeping space. Two people can do it. I wouldn't advise it for long term. You have about two feet of space between the, uh, the uh, mattress and the ceiling. All right, sorry about that. I got interrupted by a delivery. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's a comfy traveling bed. Whenever we um, travel, I'll, I'll fold it up and I'll show you what it looks like whenever we travel it, how we pack it up. Okay, here it is folded up. You can see our ice chest, but you can see how I put the front platform on top of the back platform, and then the mattress is folded up and is on top of that. It folds into three sections. You can see it around in back how it's folded up. Now, for traveling, I would put a strap around it so that if you slammed on the brakes, the platform wouldn't come and hit you in the back of the head or the mattress wouldn't come flying forward. But other than that, this, this, this is ready to roll. And all of your things and items that you would have stored down here, um, they would be still there, still have plenty of room, and you could slide the seats back and progress to your next uh, location. All right, so there you have it. I hope I helped you out. I hope you gave you some ideas. Like I said, this would be a traveling type bed. Uh, it saves a little bit of money on trips. We usually just stop at an RV park, tap into the, uh, get a spot with electricity, and we can power up our uh, microwave and our ice chest and uh, recharge our phones and things like that. Uh, if we were gonna boondock, we would need solar cells or a generator or something like that to power up our electricity if that's what we wanted to take with us. All right, happy traveling, guys.